begin tonight by continuing our coverage on a new law that could impact how much your home insurance costs. Governor Roy Cooper is calling on lawmakers to undo a house bill that blocks residential building code updates. He says the bill makes homes less safe, while groups who lobby for it say that's not the case. WECT's Ava Brangor joins us now with more details. Ava, the governor claims the code updates would bring our state up to standards with neighboring states that are impacted by severe weather. Hey, that's right, Fran. As the governor calls out the bill, I spoke to leaders with the North Carolina Home Builders Association who lobbied in favor of it. And they say the law makes new homes cheaper, saving homeowners money in the process. Nearly one year after state lawmakers passed House Bill 488, effectively banning building code updates, Governor Roy Cooper and other leaders say it's hurting North Carolina families. Cooper says the ban makes homes less safe and could cost neighbors affordable home insurance policies. Anytime you weaken state building codes, it uh, has a direct impact on driving up homeowners insurance. Insurance costs are already trending higher along the coast because of the threat of major storms. And insurance commissioner Mike Causey believes the law is making it harder to keep those rates down. You know, my message is to keep our insurance rates low, especially on the coastal areas, we need to make sure we're not going in the wrong direction. The codes would have required new homes to be more resilient and energy efficient. But Stephen Webb with the State Home Builders Association, who lobbied Republican lawmakers for the ban, says those are regulations people just can't afford. It's been a huge issue the last several years, whether it's the lack of labor to build the houses, the material costs have shot through the roof, and excessive regulations. We believe that too many people will be pushed out of the housing market. So we thought at the time it's better to hit the pause button. It's not just about costing homeowners. Governor Cooper says the ban makes it impossible to update codes consistent with FEMA standards, leaving the state without tens of millions of dollars in federal money. Others have questioned the law that was essentially written by a lobbying group, saying when it comes to safety, it's to put people first, not profits and politics. We just need to look at safety as, as a real factor in keeping people safe and certainly doing everything we can to hold our insurance rates down as low as we can. The bill also takes away the state's building code council, which Governor Cooper appointed, and creates a new council in 2025 with members from the House, Senate, and the new governor. Ava Bringord, WECT News.